Hey, hey, y'all, John Patrick here, your Charlotte Realtor, and coming to you with my monthly real estate market update snapshot, this time for October 2017. And if you've watched any of my videos or you've been doing any research on the, the real estate market here in the Charlotte area, there's no real big surprises here. It's been the same information almost every single month. But I heard an observation I wanted to share with you before I jump into the numbers. And I've had a couple of people ask me variations of a question, uh, are we in a bubble? You know, uh, house prices are rising so much. Is it something to be scared of? And, you know, the facts are that we have a net increase in population here in Charlotte. And they forecast it for the next 10 years something like 30 or 40,000 people a year move to Charlotte. And part of that impact is helping to drive up the prices of homes. They need somewhere to live. So, you know, the numbers right here that I'm looking at, uh, just this is October 2016 versus October 2017. Average sales price increased 4.2%. Um, but the observation I read was, what we're seeing here is job growth, wage growth, influx of people, and all of the construction that we're seeing in terms of apartments or new home communities, it's not quite enough to, to absorb everybody that's moving here, but it's helping keep this appreciation of homes down. If you follow what I'm saying here, this is not a bubble situation where House prices are going crazy, and there's no outside influences on it. So while the the influx of people and the wage growth is helping to push prices up, as well as the scarcity of homes for sale, the amount of new construction that's being started is helping keep that pressure down a little bit. So um, nobody has a crystal ball. I can't see the future. But... Uh, doesn't feel like a bubble is what I'm trying to tell you uh, from everything I keep reading. So let's jump into the numbers. And again, this is year over year, October versus October. Uh, new listings were up 3.1%. That's fantastic. We've seen this several months now. We want to get more houses on the market. Uh, if you need someone to help you get your house in the market, you might want to give me a call. Uh, pending sales up 15.4%. So those are houses that are under contract but have not got to closing yet. Closed sales up 2.6%. Um, list to close time down 14%. So things are moving faster. Uh, days on market down 21.6%. Uh, list uh, Average list price up 47 Average sales price up 42 And for you number wonks, Median sales price is up 6.2%. Um, inventory of homes for sale. So what's the, what's the net result here? Although we have more listings, those pending sales and those closed sales are driving down the inventory of homes 18.9% from last year. Um, down to 9,539 houses for sale. That's leaving us with 2.4 months of supply. A healthy, balanced not favoring sellers or buyers, probably made about five, six, maybe seven months. So we are, are and continue to be in a seller's market. Now, this is for the whole area that Charlotte MLS serves. If you look at individual areas, it could be much, much hotter or maybe a little bit slower. I know one neighborhood in particular I'm extremely familiar with. Almost everything sells, but it tends to take about 30 days. Not all the time, but it tends to take about 30 days, and it tends to be extremely price sensitive. If you don't hit it, you just don't get any offers, you know. Uh, so for sellers who are thinking, well, the market's good, you know, you're telling me my house is worth X, but I want to ask for more, a lot of times you're shooting yourselves in the foot when you do that. You know, if you nail the price right at the beginning, you're going to get lots of showings, you're going to get offers probably multiple offers, and that might help drive the price up naturally. If you overshoot it, you might get some showings, but you're not going to get any offers, and showings are going to be a little slow. So the end result is the market continues to be healthy. We continue to need more homes 
on the market for sale. And with some of these great new communities being built, there's a lot of really good potential move up situations for people who have existing homes. So um, I hope this helps. I hope you find it informative. If you have any questions, reach out, let me know. I'll have my contact information below. Otherwise, hope you have a great holiday season.